On today's adventure, we are going paddle boarding, stand up paddle boarding for the first time ever. I am extremely nervous. Um, I've been watching YouTube videos on really like how to paddle board. And the last time I watched a YouTube video on how to do something, I almost killed myself. Um, so I'm hoping for a better outcome this time. I don't know how many near death experiences one can have in a lifetime and I don't really want to have a lot. So hopefully this goes well, let's go. We made it to the lake, I'm so excited. We're about to paddle board, the stuff is behind me. Can you see how exciting? Okay, so update, I am out here. I have to come back to the shore because I already need a break. I'm really struggling. It's not easy at all, um, but I'm not gonna give up. Okay. <laughs> okay, so update, I have failed. I um, am in a kayak now. It's just way too windy. Look at those waves. It's too windy. Even the people at the at the company I'm renting it from agreed. It's just too windy. So um, so I decided to kayak. Uh, not quite how it, I planned it to go, but um, and I sort of feel like a failure. Not gonna lie. Say hi. Um. Hold on. slash paddle boarding. How did you think it was, Alexis? It's was great. I had a blast. Yeah, it was fun. Um, it was pretty crowded, which I was not expecting. That's why I chose, picked today to go because I thought there wouldn't be as many people out, but it was a good amount of people out. Um, but overall, it was fun. Great experience. So happy I did it. Highly recommend. I will be doing it again. Hi, so I'm back from paddle boarding slash kayaking um and to be completely honest I feel like a huge failure I I really do um I didn't get to paddle board and I didn't get to like reach my goal and I feel horrible now I am happy that you know I made the safe bet and the best decision for me was to switch to kayaking because when it was safer, it, you know, and and it was just a better decision overall. Um, but I do feel like a failure. And a lot of times things don't go as planned. They don't. And I can, you know, sit around and mope and be really upset with myself um and I think those feelings are valid for me to feel but I think the important thing is is that I don't dwell in this there was a book or a podcast I listened to and they talked about how we as adults whenever we feel negative feelings, we automatically wanna like push it away and like put it on the back burner and feel like we should always be happy and always be excited. But they were saying we should almost be childlike in our emotions where we experience, you know, the sadness, the hurt, the failure, we, we fully welcome it and we embrace it 
and then we move on and we don't dwell in it. And I think that's like the difference between, you know, a child and an adult is because they move on, you know, they move on from that hurt feeling and then they're good again. Um, whereas adults, we hold grudges, we hold on to that, we harbor those feelings and that isn't good. So what I am allowing myself to do is I'm giving myself grace. I'm feeling, I'm embracing this failure and this emotion of, you know, just hurt at myself, hurtness. I don't know if that's a word, but I'm, I'm just embracing it. And then, um, I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm going to move on. And then it'll just feel even better when I finally do get to stand up paddleboard and actually do it. It's going to feel even better.